To join the Mound Maker's Covenant, you must first go to the Undead Settlement location and not kill. You cannot kill Cursed Rotted Greatwood, the third boss in the game. You have to do this before killing him or you're going to have to start a new character. So, what you got to do, come to the Undead Settlement, go to the second nearest bonfire, which is this one right here. Once, if you, once you have gone to this bonfire, go ahead and follow my character in the direction that I'm going in, and I will lead you to the spot necessary that's required where you need to go to basically join the Covenant. So go ahead and drop down, continue on this path, as you can see, there's a bridge right to our right. You're going to continue forward across the bridge, avoiding all enemies possible. Now, there's going to be some barrels right here and a side path. Go around onto the side path, and there's going to be a ladder right in front of you that leads to the rooftop. Go ahead and climb the ladder. Avoid the rooftop enemies and all the other enemies if possible. Now, as you can see, there's a guy right down there with a cage on his back. Now, if you haven't killed Curse Rotted Greatwood, if he's still alive, you want to do this as soon as possible as you get to this area. Go to this cage guy, the guy with the cage on his back, and interact with his back. Okay, this will basically trigger a cutscene, which will take you to the location where you finish off the Curse Rotted Greatwood boss, where you fight him in the final stage. So we're going to go ahead and use a Homeward Bone, and I'm going to show you the exact location that I'm talking about. Now, I have pretty much messed up my main character save. I killed Curse Rotted Greatwood boss, basically, um, and I didn't. I was unable to join the Covenant. It won't allow you to after you kill him. So, um... I had to create a second character to do this, and, um, you know, I'd rather show you guys exactly where you need to go and what to do so you don't mess up like I did. So, as you can see, there's a location down here. You're going to go ahead and fast travel to it. If you've messed up like I have, or if you've basically already joined the Covenant and you killed the... the Cursed Rotted Great Wood boss. You're going to come down here to this location, and there's going to be this right in front of you, this area with all these skulls. You're going to go ahead and bow down, and since we can't join, we can't do this, you know, we're that basically tells us that our character is screwed because we killed the Cursed Rotted Great Wood boss before coming down here, but before interacting with the guy who had, has the cage on his back. Now, there is another way to do this, however, and that requires you to go all the way to the top, to the doorway up there, and put down a soapstone, I believe, which will trigger some kind of co-op play, and hopefully you'll be in a world with another character um, who hasn't killed the Cursed Rotted Great Wood boss, and you can go to the guy with the cage on his back, and maybe, just maybe, the cutscene will trigger. Now, I can't do that option with my character because I don't have PlayStation Plus. So, that is how to join the Mound Maker's Covenant. Now, let's move on to the next one. We have another tricky Dark Souls 3 Covenant. To join the Blades of the Dark Moon Covenant, you must go to Edithil of the Boreal Valley, which is currently located right here. From Edithil of the Boreal Valley, once you progress through the environment, you will encounter another location called Anor Londo. Once you're at Anor Londo, go ahead from the bonfire, turn around to this tower. As you can see, there is a, we a wheel right there with a lever on it. By rotating the lever, it will basically move this tower up and down. We don't currently need to move the tower. So we're going to go ahead and progress down the stairs. Once you have progressed down the stairs, there is going to be this path right here that is broken. And how do we get over there to the bonfire? Um, there seems to be no way over there. Well, apparently, if you jump off of this 
and you continue to run forward or walk forward, whichever way. You can probably just walk here. You probably don't even need to jump. You're going to be here now, which is crazy. <laughs> Coming just from right there over here walking on air. Now there's a bonfire here. You can go ahead and activate the bonfire if you like. Now, as you can see, here is Company Captain Yorshka. Bas basically, before talking to her, I'm going to make this easy. Before talking to her, you should make sure that you haven't joined the <laughs> Rosarius Fingers Covenant. So, as you can see, we have the Dark Sigil. Our, our Covenant is active. So, um, she won't let us, like, just that by talking to her, alright, she won't me. even let us join the Covenant, which is lame. So, basically, you need to make sure that don't join Rosaria's Fingers Covenant just immediately once you get there, alright? Now, again, Rosaria's Covenant is located right over here. Oh, wrong way. Okay. Rosaria's Covenant is located right here. Alright? So, don't go don't go and activate, join her covenant quite yet. You want to come over here and join this covenant. Alright? That way, I'm making it easy on you guys so you guys don't mess up like I did. This is the Blades of the Dark Moon Covenant. Go ahead and just wait on... Rosaria's Fingers Covenant, come over here, join this covenant, and then go join that covenant. You'll have both trophies. So you got to make sure that you don't have the Dark Sigil active. And so, supposedly, um, joining Rosaria's Fingers Covenant and having the covenant active with the Dark Sigil, I guess she'll show up in the Firelink Shrine with hostile words. So I'm not so sure if it's Rosaria or if it's Captain Yorshka. I don't know which one it is. I think it's Captain Yorshka. She gets pissed at you for joining the Rosarius Fingers Covenant, I believe. Or could have that backwards. I don't know. But that's that covenant. Let's move on to the next. To join the Way of the Blue Covenant, you can either defeat or not defeat Vort of the Boreal Valley. This can be done before or after defeating him. So be sure to come to this location right here. This is the same location that we fought Vort of the Boreal Valley. He is the second boss in the game. Now the Way of the Blue item necessary to join the Covenant isn't located around here. But it is directly in front of us up these steps all the way to the top in the chapel. Uh, the cathedral or whatever you call it. So we're going to go ahead and progress upwards. Keep continuing forward, avoiding all of these enemies. Open these doors. And there will be a lady sitting in a chair right in front of you. Once you speak to her for the first time, you will join the Way of the Blue Covenant. This farewell gift is for you. It is the insignia of an old covenant. If you fear trespassers, dark spirits drawn by the embers, then etch this upon your heart, and the old Concord will beckon noble blue sentinels to hunt these foul spirits. To find the Blue Sentinels Covenant, head towards the Halfway Fortress Bonfire near the Road of Sacrifices. This location right here is the Road of Sacrifices, and here is the Halfway Fortress Bonfire. So, to give you guys a different point of view, this is the building you're looking for right here. Now, Horus will be right here in front of us with another knight. You go and talk to Horus, and he will give you the item that allows you to join the Blue Sentinel's Covenant. As you can see, there you go.